though, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Welcome to the Living Room, your boy Luna here And today is the day where the man of bats makes his debut on the channel, yes! So today, we get into Batman <laughs> So, I'm a huge Batman fan so much so that I'm not nice to whenever I watch anything Batman related for one particular reason. I demand Batman, Batman. And if Batman does not Batman, I become upset. Okay. I have seen a couple Batman movies in my life. And by couple, I mean deuce. <laughs> okay, I saw, and the two I'm going to say probably might mind hump some of you, and that's all right. That's all right. Because people sometimes don't believe that a comic geek cannot see comic book movies. And it's very easy. Because generally, especially back in the day, they sucked ass. They were either so campy that you couldn't take it serious or you just couldn't take it serious. That's just my experience. So Batman was left alone except for two. The Adam West 1960s Batman movie where you sometimes you just can't get rid of a bomb. And you know, certain things like um, Batman shark repellent, okay? <laughs> okay. Oh my God, that bat, that Adam West Batman movie is bad shit crazy. They turn like the United Nations into like salt or some shit. Crazy stuff. So that movie was insane. And then the second one that I saw, which I am still hurt by, and it helped thoroughly um, like drill in me that I can't trust Hollywood to make comic book movies Batman and Robin I'm sorry that piece of shit okay I was 13 years old okay 13 that was the first movie I was allowed to go see without my mama was amped 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 you hear me Bat nipples, credit cards, Bane being a giant dumbass who just R.I.P. to the actor that played him. But woof, horrible. And the only portrayal of Poison Ivy, to my knowledge, I don't know if there's been any other Poison Ivies that have been done in live action, but it's the only one I saw. No. And Batman. wasn't believable <laughs> the actor who played him no and one another thing that, that bothered me as a kid it said batman and robin but robin was wearing a nightwing suit i didn't understand that that suit that he had on didn't look like robin to me it looked like nightwing so i was confused so those are my two experiences with batman in live action not the best. So now we're going to be taking on Batman from I think it said 1989 or 1990, something like that. Um, this one looks a little promising. The, the cover looks dark. Actually, the cover was literally just the Batman logo. Um, but I'm excited to see this. I'm also terrified. We're going to be talking about this one. And if you've seen any of my MCU or Marvel reactions, if I see something that jogs a memory of the comic lore, I will try to impart it upon you. But, you know, if I don't, I don't. I may miss some things. I may not. Who knows? We'll see. But I'm really excited to see this. So please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. The goal is to work up to the Batman, which I do really want to see. I watched the trailer for that one. That looked like Batman may have been done right. He looked like a detective, baby. I'm sorry. 
None of these other ones look like detectives to me. I'm sorry. And for me personally, let me describe my perfect Batman to you. My perfect Batman, number one, is a detective. Batman's number one nickname to me is the world's greatest detective. Point big period for me. That's where, that's where it starts and stops. If I don't see detective, I get a little, hmm. Okay. Number two, he needs to be quite skilled in the martial arts, but he knew a shit ton of martial arts, knew how to basically attack, defend, block, take on multiple people at once. Okay. That's just me personally. Okay. And number three, there needs to be a diverse difference between Bruce Wayne and Batman. Okay. That's what I need. I don't need a dude who is, you know, I need, I need them to get the understanding that Batman is truly him. Bruce Wayne is a mask. Okay. Bruce Wayne is fake. He's the fakest some bitch walking around. Bruce Wayne only exists so that Batman can do what he can do. Point blank period. So. Now that you have my three pillars of Batman, we're gonna get into this. I'm terrified. And I am weak as all hell. So, let's get into this. Is that a trumpet? It sounds similar to the animated series, which I do know is based off this. The music is quite good so far. It screams Batman. Yes! Who are you, Tim Burton? If only it said the above it. Oh, fuck. God damn, I want to beat someone to death right now. Shit. Just, just swoop down with headphones on. Listen to this, and then you just pummel a son of a bitch. Don't you ever steal my goddamn Lolly Ranger. And a Lolly Ranger is a Jolly Rancher that is on a stick. Prince? Interesting, interesting. What? Penalty on the play, pause. This right here is that bullshit. Let me tell y'all a quick story before we get into this movie about a wrong that has been done and everyone should do what they can to spread the word because this man gave us so much joy and he was robbed of credit for decades. The man died in 1974 and his name was Bill Finger. If you do not know who Bill Finger is, there is a documentary about him and how badly he was done. I think it's on, it may be on Hulu. Or Disney, on, it's on Disney or Hulu Plus, whatever one of those maybe may have it. And it's called Batman and Bill. Definitely worth a watch. Long story short, Bob Kane, whose name you see on the screen right here, did create Batman and Batman characters. And do you know who the fuck helped him do that? Bill Finger. And there was a plot to basically not give this man credit. This man basically died penniless and alone at the age of 59. Think about that. A man who's responsible for creating Batman, Robin, the Joker, was robbed of credit and died penniless and just broke at 59 in 19, like I think it was like 1974 or some shit like that. And so for the first thing I had to see is based on Batman characters created by Bob Kane, my brain says, where's Bill Finger's respect? So please learn your history. You know, we all know Stan Lee. We should all know Bill Finger. He created Batman and the Joker. He designed the basis of what Batman looks like. Like, come on. Mm, both of their names should be there. Let's get back into this. 
Alright. Alright. Gotham looks dark as all hell. Looks like a shitty place to live. Looks like it's always wet. Matches got them so far. Are we about to watch? Is that is that baby Bruce? What makes you think to continue going this way in a town you do not know with a reputation of a town like Gotham? Here we go. Full screen. She she did the most. Ooh. Ooh, look at the cape flap. Let me see, boy. Let me see. Come on, give me what you got there, boy. Let me see what you got there, boy. Beat the hell out of these motherfuckers, boy. Yes. Shit. Oh my God, yes. I'm loving his stealth so far. Derry, no. Uh huh. Interesting. Oh, terrify the fuck out of a criminal. Let's go. Okay, karate. I see the martial arts. I see the gadgets. What are you? I'm Batman. Ooh. We may be dating right now, this movie and I. I don't know if we will ever make it engaged or anything. I don't know if it's long term. But we've decided to, you know, date each other right now. Is that Lando Calrissian? What a boy! Harvey Dent. Will Harvey carry Dent? Two face? Much? Police Commissioner Gordon has informed Okay, that's Gordon. That nice mustache. Decent people shouldn't live here. Uh -huh. They'd be happier someplace else. You look fine. I didn't ask. Damn. Damn. This motherfucker's cold blooded. Okay. 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 <laughs> yo, yo, that kick has him still crying. Okay. So Batman got some power with him. Who's this bullet? Lieutenant Eckhart, I hear we just had us another battle. Eckhart? Not from there. They say he can't be killed. They say he drinks blood. They say, I say you're full of shit. Nuts. Okay, let's go. I like Gotham and his characters. We just meeting in alleys like we hookers, you know? Well, that's what we doing. Our front companies. And you're dirty. Not it's not shocking. I answer to Grissom, not to psychos. Interesting. Uh -huh. Are they trying to say he's the Joker? You can make a good decision when you try. Because I see Joker-esque right there with that jacket. Ooh, that laugh. Where have you been spending your nights? Oh, you, okay, so he's going to snitch. But his laugh, his laugh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I, I will say up front, I will, be, I will be honest, I'm not big on them giving Joker a background. I prefer my Joker with no clear background. Because he's... He's just, he just is, you know? Don't put him in a box. Let him be free. I'm Vicky Vale. Vicky Vale, yeah, yeah. Photographer, Vogue, Cosmo. Vicky Vale, huh? I've encountered her. Okay. I'd like you to handle this operation personally. Personally. Me? Oh, my. I wonder if you'd mind waiting. He's so old, ain't no way you don't know she's cheating on you, dog. You are my number one guy. I would never let anyone touch me like that. You're lucky, Dak. But you just splattered them all over in my hat. Like, what? What? He just lets you know he wants you dead, dog. Get me Lieutenant Eckhart. Is it me or does he have the police on speed dial? <laughs> Why did he walk off like that? <laughs> Could you tell me which of these guys is Bruce Wayne? Well, I'm not sure. 
<laughs> Here, is, this, is that is that Alfred? I'm thinking that this is Bruce. If that's Alfred, I'm fucking with him already. I just need him to make one smart ass comment. <laughs> yo, Alfred is on it, yo. I'm taking it that's Alfred. Why wasn't I told about this? Who's in charge? Eckhart, sir. Oh my god. Come on, let's go. Let's go. That makes me feel like Gordon knows Eckhart's dirty. Japanese. How do you know? It's about it in Japan. What? Who are you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Which one? Alexander Knox. Mr. Knox, how do you work at a newspaper in Gotham City and not know who Bruce Wayne is? You're fired. Gordon was compelled to leave. Oh, okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Very unexpectedly, sir. Okay, yeah, that's Alfred. Maybe it should be Bruce Wayne. <laughs> We're still talking shit about the dude who just potentially gave you a grant off of just asking? That looks like a goddamn starfish. What is, what? With a shrimp head. I'm just lit. To the moon, baby. <laughs> Terrible safe. We've been ratted out here, boys. Watch it. Freeze! Okay. I like seeing people actually get shot in movies. Too many times in movies, I've noticed, like, Star Wars, accuracy is not a job for people with guns. And it's it's, it's crazy to me. Tombstone proved that wrong now. Did he shoot him in the neck? Oh, I thought he shot him in the throat, yo. Ooh. Hey, hey, bitch. Oh shit, nice strength. Jesus. Let him go! Or I'll do Gordon! Pause? Hey, Card. Think about the future. He's accurate as all hell. Okay. Oh! The vat of chemicals is happening? Okay. Okay, dope. This is a pretty dope rendition of, so in the comics, it's more of the Joker at the time was going by um, the gimmick of uh, the Red Hood. And he had the Red Hood gang. He literally had a red cape and wore a red like cone thing on his head. And long story short, he ended up getting drafted in Nevada Chemicals. Yeah. I like the accuracy here. He's not the Red Hood. He, they made him Jack Napier. But uh, that was quite dope as a way to... Have the Joker be created before me. In the comics, I swear, I think it may be Ace Chemicals. Okay. There's the bleached skin. Then we'll walk the trail. No can do. I got Dave. It's Bruce Wayne. Damn. I am quick as hell. Excuse me? What? What the hell? The they made Bruce eccentric as all fuck. Actually. I don't need this love story shit. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, this this part can kick rocks. I'll be. I really only pay attention to Batman when he's in love when it's Catwoman, because I, I like seeing that car wreck happen. But outside that, I don't. Know. Hi, Mrs. Looney here. My husband doesn't like love in movies. I love that he already has the <laughs> the purple and orange suit. Ooh. Ooh, I got chills. Shit, I can't wait to see this Joker. Ooh, I'm excited. And you're not anything. Hey, I'm drinking, I'm flying. <laughs> Why are you afraid of flying? Ah, uh, I like how they did that. Bruce always makes it look like, he always makes it look like he's drinking alcohol, but he's not. Except for uh, Dark Knight Returns run, he was definitely drinking that. <laughs> yeah, 
I was wondering when he was going to know he was going to be dead, but that solidified. You can call me Ooh. Joker. What the fuck was that on his neck? A hickey? You can see. I'm a lot happier. <laughs> How the hell did they do his face? Oh my god, yes! That is so Joker. He's known for like just randomly popping off. I am enjoying this so much so far. Except for this love shit. It, the love shit is complete trash to me. I don't care about him holding Vicky Vale as they lay there so passionately. Fuck out of here. Go punch someone in the face. Ah. See, he's getting that good lumbar. Decompressing all of his body. Wait till they get a load of me. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. What the fuck is happening? This dude is insane. What's wrong? He got what he wanted and he wants out. I'll talk to you guys when you get back. Oh, no. God damn it. Alfred failed the goddamn G test. Shit. Whatever she says, agree and walk off. Is it the joy buzzer? Oh my god, he's go oh he has the gadgets! Holy shit! In the old town tonight. <laughs> Hey, son, yo, come on now. What we talking about? That was incredible. He fricasseed this fucker. I got a little hot under the collar. <laughs> you crazy. Yes, he is. Remember, you are my number one. <laughs> what is that? I know he's making fun of the Grissom, but god damn, that was weird. I'm glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible! What is this movie? Why have I not been dragged into a couch, stapled to it, and then forced to watch it? Why was I ever shown Batman and Robin first? I feel like every time a Vicky Vale moment shows up, I can go to do a bathroom break. It's... Even right now, I feel like he's just going to crime alley to pay respects to his parents because that's it that Bruce would do. Or I'm shocked that he they didn't have him go to their actual um, tombstones. It happens a lot, especially uh, animated series, Mask of the Phantasm. Fucking hate clowns. Which I know is weird because I love the Joker. Maybe it's because the Joker is what clowns really are. So I can accept it. They're evil if you didn't catch on. Especially, nothing's worse than a fucking mom! Oh my god! These people are morons. How you not notice a sea of stupidity flowing towards you? Ooh. This Joker is so dope. Whoa. Batman is a mob enforcer killing these. I don't have any comment, no. Damn. This town needs an enema. <laughs> what? This dude is incredible, man. I can't go on with that right now. Indeed. If not now. Well. Alfred, don't propel him into bullshit. He needs to solve the Joker right now. Girl has style. Jesus Marimba. What? Jesus remember? What'd he say? I'm of a mind makes a moogie. <laughs> I of a mind makes a moogie? What the what is he talking about? You're glorious, sir. 
He's legitimately terrifying. He's killed a lot of people. He's laughing as he does it. He fricasseed a fucker. What? The fashion world was stunned today by the sudden deaths of models Candy Walker and Amanda Keeler. Is he Joker gassing people? Joker has a gas in the comics that makes you just bust out laughing and you literally laugh to death with a frozen face. I'm so happy if this is happening. What the fuck is wrong with her? Becky. Tell the camera. Oh my god. He's been using brand X. This is the type of shit Joker does. Yeah. And again. Yeah. Information you requested. Thank you. Okay. I like how he is reading into the file. I wish he would have got it himself instead of sending Alfred to get it, but that's snitch picking. I must leave my comic bias at the door. Miss Vale, this just arrived for you. Them Joker colors. Oh, look at that handwriting. Yeah. Gentlemen, let's broaden our minds. Lawrence. What's happening? This Prince? I don't understand why this is happening right now. Isn't that leaving fingerprints? I kind of like this. I bet you do. I'm sure we can make you more today. Holy. Shit. He has a flamethrower in his pocket. I want one for Christmas. The bodies, you give it all such a glow. I don't know if it's art, but I like it. <laughs> Insane. I make art until someone dies. See? Good. <laughs> now, like me, she's a living work of art. Ooh. Whiff of my. Oh, he has the acid flower. <laughs> that lamp. Ooh, get into the center. Indeed. Why did he jump off the step like that? <laughs> oh, shit. I've seen that car before in the comics. So it's from this. Did he have to lean forward so that um, the ears didn't get clipped off right there? I'm loving this movie so much. Shields. I want this car for Christmas. How much do you weigh? What? About 108, I think. See that thing on my belt? Grab it. That turning is intense. Let's go! Yes. Yes! Ooh, how does my soul taste the bitch? Yeah, come get some, huh, fucker? Yeah, you better run. Stop. Woo! I couldn't have taken it that close, though. Where are we going? Don't you ask no question. Just enjoy the ride. That car's moving ass. I'm loving this Batmobile right now. I prefer the more stripped down, more just some uh, souped up muscle car Batman. My favorite Batmobile is Dark Knight Returns, I know, which is completely opposite of what I just said. Cause it's a fucking tank. Oh. Fuck that. If you don't stop on point, it's a wrap. They're great survivors. Why do we have some in cages? Makes no sense. He has bats in a bat cage. In the bat cave. What? Only works when the components are mixed. Hairspray won't do it alone, but hairspray mixed with lipstick and perfume. 
would be toxic. And then... Why did you bring me here? Well, you could have sent that stuff to the press yourself. There is something else you have that I want. That pussy, baby! What? Ooh. <laughs> did I just turn Batman into a booty bandit? Which means he touched him, did it? <laughs> Perhaps you could try telling her the truth. What? Back me. Just because you look you look good as hell with that one braid, don't mean you can just be sassy and shit. Calm it down. That's too much clothing. You see. Oh. Thank God. It's me. The scene has now become interesting. Let me tell you about this guy I know, Jack. Bad seed. Hurt people. I like him already. <laughs> <laughs> and then he had a... Now you want to get nuts? Come on. Let's get nuts. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on. Let's get nuts. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Huh? What? I just like the sound of it. <laughs> Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Never rub another man's rhubarb. <laughs> <laughs> what? This dude has sands, yo. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight and never touch another man's rhubarb? Is that a vegetable, a rhubarb? <laughs> yo! She is my fuck. Don't open that. The Joker. At midnight, I will dump 20 million in cash on the crowd. The man who has brought real terror to Gotham City. <laughs> that face that is insane. I have taken off my makeup. Let's see if you can take off yours. The gauntlet has been thrown down, Bruce. We must reply in kind. Suit up. Oh my god, this music. I thought we weren't gonna see it, but we know we're gonna see it, and there you go, those fucking pearls. Let's grab the pearls. There we go. There we go. And there we go. You ever dance with the devil by the pale moonlight? What? Let's go, Jack! What? Oh, quick pause. So that's a hell of a change. They made the Joker be the one who killed Tom and Martha Wayne? That's okay. Um, the comic version that I'm used to is, it's Joe Chill. Joe Chill does the actual killing. Um, you want to know a great story. It came out a couple of years ago. I can't remember what it's called, the name of the run. But basically, Joker, <laughs> basically, behind the scenes, Joker helps Bruce get over and help basically the joker helps bruce forgive joe chill he helps connect the two behind the scenes of course batman doesn't know this is happening but joker's doing certain things so that you know batman has to protect joe chill and during all this joe chill basically apologizes and he sees all these letters that joe chill has been written to bruce wayne that just never got sent out and Joe Chill, I think, has cancer now, and he's just so apologetic about what he did. And when Batman sees all this, he actually forgives Joe Chill. And the dark twist is, <laughs> the Joker helped Batman get over his biggest trauma just so that he could become Batman's biggest trauma with no competition. I'm telling you, like, it's one of the Dopest fucking stories. I wish I could remember what I what the name of it is offhand. 
but it's so fucking dope. The Joker is a, just a conniving bastard. But that's the biggest connection I know between Joe Chill and Joker. So the fact that they're making Joker uh, to be the one who killed his parents, I can see how it makes sense. It also makes their rivalry even deeper. But now it's a blood feud. Dope. I know Alfred did not let this woman into the Batcave and reveal his identity. This is this is a crime worth murder. Me and this Alfred do not vibe at all anymore. Out there right now. I've got to go to work. Thank you. Get the fuck out. Yes. Yes. Buckle up. I wish you had white eyes, but it's okay. Dope. What the hell is that? Okay. This Batman kills. That don't bother me. It's a debate online. I know some of these Batmans apparently kill. And there was a problem for some people. I don't give a damn. He's killed in the comics. Batman once hung a man from the Batwing. And his neck snapped. And Batman's response was, well, he shouldn't have done the crime. Get in the air, Junior Batman! Miss me! The hose is dope! <laughs> that was a hooker and a pimp. You be here with me. The police in Gotham City suck. How the hell is a Joker holding a parade down the street tossing out money and out a damn siren in sight? How much Here's the worst part. He told y'all he was going to do this. The Batwing, dope AF. Yeah. Where I relieve you, the little people, of your failed and useless lives. What? If you gotta go, go with a smile. What? <laughs> Did no one even attempt to throw anything at him or anything? He just blatantly told y'all he's about to murk you all. They all just, the money! Oh my god. It's gas. He's going to kill everybody! My balloons. Yes, he straight up snatched them. He literally just walked on dude's back to do that. He stole my balloons! Bob, done. Why would we kill Bob? Bob was nothing but awesome this entire time. And we killed Bob? That's the first Joker thing he's done that I'm just like, no. I want a gummy bear now. Did he steal those flows from the goddamn festival? I just caught on to that. All that hardware and you miss that bad? God damn, what caliber was that gun? We just got the damn thing and he already wrecked it. Damn. It was beautiful while it flew though. What you think, Kanga? She's going to bed now. What y'all don't see is she was fighting my ankles. Slapping the hell out of me for like 10 minutes. I'm assuming he needed to go see a chiropractor after playing this damn role because he could not move his neck. Now y'all show us. Fire. My favorite gummy bear is green. Joker's acid is not to be fucked with. This guy again. You just seen dude with the blades who just got kicked in the face? I think it was the same guy. He sucks. Flippy dipshit. Ah! <laughs> oh 
Oh shit. Oh shit. God damn. Without you, I just wouldn't want to go on. Yo, he has the bang pistol. When did he swap to that though? I'm so happy he has the bang pistol. That's the trademark of Joker. He's just getting his ass kicked. Well, Batman is definitely murking. If that guy ain't dead, he'll never live again. You heard what I said. Oh, I love purple. She about to top him off? Excuse me. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Damn. Damn. Woo! I made you. You made me first. Hey, you wouldn't hit a guy with glasses on, would you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> this crazy bastard, yo! <laughs> He's so fucking funny, yo! <laughs> he almost slipped and bust his ass. Sometimes I just kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Damn. They gassed on this motherfucker, boy. Woo! Oh shit, it ain't over? Whoa. <laughs> he still got the last laugh. How do we call him? He gave us a signal. Okay. 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 The comic book nerd in me loves what I just saw. Alfred standing in the darkness like a goddamn PDF file. I don't like him having a girlfriend that knows he's Batman after the first fucking movie. Random Batman standing on top of some random ass place in the city. That fits. All right. That man. That. That was a mixed bag for me, honestly. So first, let me get this out the game. I fucking loved it. I fucking loved it. But it had certain things that just had me so. <laughs> I'm still trying to digest that Joker had a backstory, Jack Napier, and that Joker, when he was Jack Napier, killed. Bruce's parents. I'm gonna go ahead and take it that the guy that was standing next to him was supposed to be Joe Chill. That's all, I'm just gonna ride with that. But that's a little weird for me, because uh, it's for me, in my head, Joe Chill is um, the one who did the deed. So that's a little weird for me. But over the other than that, I really liked it. I, I really liked uh, um, the, the Joker character. What? That was goddamn insanity personified right there. That dude had so many laughs. And I want to know how long he practiced doing those laughs. Because that was... What? I really... Oof. Especially, the he has that one laugh. After she splashes him with water. And it's... <laughs> I can't even do it. Yo. That right there goes down in the Hall of Fame of laughing. There's no way you can't tell me he didn't almost give himself an aneurysm forcing out so many laughs. Or he's actually that psychotic and everything that he thought he was doing was funny as shit. Man. Like when he fricasseed that dude. Joker was menace. 
Batman was cool. So, based off my three pillars, I can see this as a Batman. I did. I had some concerns though when he asked Alfred to get the file for him. Mm. Mm. I feel like Batman would have got that himself. Um, so I'm holding that against him. But when the file showed up, he was going through it. He was at the Bat computer, looking at everything. So he was definitely investigating on the information that he got. So uh, I'll give him that on the, on, on the detective work. Um, for the martial arts, he, he was black and neat. Hey, like he was, he had all that going. Okay. Um, he got worked by that big black dude at the end. <laughs> yeah. He, that dude was giving bat seed business right there. But, you know, he, he ended up winning that fight. Um, uh, so we have that. You know, and he wasn't the biggest. I will say that. He looked like he was normal height, I'm guessing. Somewhere between 5'8 and 5'10. Um, I prefer my Batman to be somewhere at least around 6'2, 6'3. Um, that's the minimum for me. Uh, but I, hey, I'm flexible on that. You know, the guy who did him did a good portrayal. His Bruce Wayne was weird though. Like the way he came at Joker was weird. So I, I don't. His Bruce Wayne was a little too eccentric for me. Um, Batman was, was 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 pretty cool, but the Bruce was a little eccentric. Um, the love start, I mean, all the love parts. Oh my God, I hated it. I hated it with a passion. Don't need it. Didn't need to see it. Didn't need to be in the movie. For me, and I'm just speaking for me. Every time Vicky Vale showed up, which initially I was excited because she's from the comics, but. Every time she showed up, it was all some lovey-dovey shit that I did not give a fuck about. They turned me against Alfred. Why would Alfred give up Bruce's identity and take a female into the Batcave without Bruce's permission? What? What? I do not believe in that. So that's my comments. The Batmobile was dope as fuck. Um, his gadgets were dope as fuck. That chase scene was dope as hell. You're getting to see the Batmobile put on a goddamn shell to protect itself. And not to mention, he drove it into a goddamn... They called it Access Chemicals. In the comics, I swear it was Ace Chemicals, but I could be tripping. And it drove in there, dropped bombs, and murked how many henchmen in that goddamn place? Whoo! So that was cool. So, I mean... For this, it's definitely hands down the best Batman movie I've ever seen. Adam West's Batman is now in the dust. And Batman and Robin is still where it was under fertilizer. So, no worries about that. But this was dope as shit. I could see myself watching this multiple times again. I'm excited to watch Batman Returns. Um, we only had Joker as a villain in this. I got kind of got used to the MCU like two or three baddies showing up so i'm curious to see who the villain's gonna be in the next one i do not know and let's see where this goes you know we got our first dc movie in the can i'm excited well let me know what were your first thoughts when you saw this movie um and also once again please check out that documentary uh batman and bill um give bill finger some respect because two characters he created headlined this movie the thing about that that's to give it to all these comic writers your full respect because I don't know if you guys know this when these comic book writing make characters they don't get the ownership Stan Lee is was in a weird position because he became the editor-in-chief of Marvel so he became the top guy at Marvel eventually so he gets all the accolades but there's a lot of guys and girls who do not so let's give them their press when they got them make it but outside of that, hope you enjoyed the action. If you did, once again, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment. If you want to join in the, the Noon Squad, subscribe. This will have members down in the description below. But I'll see you in the next one. Look at